epilepsy warning for flashing lights and colors. Ah, the carnival, home of artery-clogging fried foods, deliberately impossible games, and of course, a plethora of nausea-inducing thrill rides. These portable flat rides are designed by several different companies constantly inventing new ways to swing, spin, and flip passengers. While some rides like swinging ships and rings of fire are quite common, others are truly unique attractions that can only be classified as insane. So here are just 20 of the many crazy carnival rides to ever grace the fairgrounds. Number 20. Hexentons, made by German manufacturer Zier, also known as Witch's Dance in English, this unique attraction currently only operates as a traveling fair ride. This ride features a rotating base structure that rises and falls with several main arms that jut out. At the end of these stationary arms are rotating arms with a two-person gondola attached at each end. Throughout the ride, the gondolas come in close contact with each other, giving riders the illusion that they are about to smash together. It may not be as intense as the other rides on this list, but it's still an extremely memorable attraction, and hopefully they'll stay operating for a while longer. Number 19, Speed Flip, made by Italian manufacturer Moser Rides. If you thought orbiters were crazy, then you haven't seen anything yet. The best way to describe this ride is that it's pretty much a fourth dimension scrambler. This attraction is pure, unfiltered insanity with its wild rotating gondolas and mechanical flexibility. Just like with an ordinary scrambler, you'll still get the high g-forces and near misses with the other gondolas, but here you'll get to do all of that while being maniacally flipped upside down over and over and over again. Yes, the speed flip is one hell of a ride, but we're still just getting started with this list. Number 18, Hard Rock, made by Italian manufacturer Fabri. True to its name, this attraction both rocks and rolls. Passengers board four giant rolling drums, with each of the ride's main arms holding two drums side to side. The ride's arms not only serve to spin the drums sideways, but proceed to hoist guests into the air in insanely steep angles, making the ride experience even crazier. With its large cylindrical gondolas, this wild spinning ride looks like something you'd use to whip up giant eggs into a giant omelette. Though you can't exactly prepare food with this ride, you can still experience the steep angles and multi-axis rotations at your leisure. Number 17, Energy Storm, made by Italian manufacturers Moser Rides and Zamperla. Okay, so at first glance, you may think that this is just a knockoff of the popular Orbiter. However, this ride has an extra twist that makes it far crazier than both this and even the speed flip. While the gondolas on this ride don't freely flip, the ride's climax will hold you upside down and continue to spin as the blood rushes to your head. Hang time is one thing, but spinning hang time is truly in a league of its own. To put it simply, this ride takes the very concept of gravity and knocks it out the window with an iron fist. And by the time it's all over, your sense of direction will be positively pulverized. Number 16, Magic Arm, made by Austrian manufacturer Wagner Biro. This was a one-of-a-kind attraction that really really had to be seen to be believed. The ride consisted of a massive rotating arm with another spinning arm at its end like a cheerleader twirling a baton. Passengers are seated around the bottom of the second arm, and the unique rotations led to a disorienting and flat-out fun ride experience. The gondola also spins guests sideways, so you could call this a giant frisbee gone mad. Plus, with its vibrant and colorful light patterns, it's pretty easy to see why this was commonly known as a flying circus. Unfortunately, Wagner Bureau reportedly only built one of these attractions, and has since taken them off the market. Hopefully we'll get to see this ride make a comeback one day, because it really is an impressive sight. Number 15, Heartbreaker, made by Dutch manufacturer Mondial. Whoever thought of combining a top scan and a magic carpet ride really deserves a promotion. This epic attraction rotates guests around the center axis, all while both gondolas independently flip forwards and backwards. Passengers who dare to brave this ride will be repeatedly pushed into and lifted out of their seats throughout the ride without a single dull moment. You'll pretty much feel like you're being blown into a tornado at full speed. It's unknown why exactly this is called a heartbreaker, but perhaps it's named after how thrill seekers will feel when the ride is over. Number 14, Magnetic Storm, an original attraction by French showmen. While most showmen typically purchase rides to tour at fairs, some showmen go above and beyond and design their own rides. That's the case with this unique attraction. Now you may be looking at this and thinking, this looks boring, why is it on the list? Well, it may move like a giant metronome at first, 
but with the push of a button, the seats swing freely both clockwise and counterclockwise. As the pneumatic cylinder swings guests back and forth, the momentum forcibly flips them as they come within inches of the ground. It may not be that tall or that fast, but it's hard to deny that this is quite a forceful ride worth checking out. Number 13. The Skydiver Made by American manufacturer Chance Rides This may look like a typical Ferris wheel from afar, but it is so much more than that. Believe it or not, this is actually a pretty old ride design, dating all the way back to the 1960s. Passengers board boot-shaped gondolas and are given a steering wheel to help control its sideways rotation. The gondolas turn a full 360 degrees as the main wheel sends them around, and it all leads up to a disorienting thrill ride that was way ahead of its time. You can spin as much or as little as you like, making the ride experience different for all sorts of thrill seekers. So if you plan on making the most of your ride experience, be prepared to make like Star Fox and do a barrel roll. Number 12. Top Star Tour, made by Italian manufacturer Moser Rides. While Dutch manufacturer KMG has a similar model called the Move It, the Moser version has two more arms, making it slightly more impressive looking. So picture a swinging claw ride, but instead of swinging, you add two more axes of rotation to it. Not only does the claw itself spin, but a large, also spinning mechanism repeatedly and gradually turns it around, sending passengers upside down. The seats themselves also stay stationary, so riders get to experience the thrilling hang time of being slowly turned face down and upside down. And as if that wasn't enough, the entire structure rotates to the side, making this one of the most visually impressive rides out there. It's no wonder that one of the names of this ride is Transformer. It looks like something you'd see in a Transformers movie. Number 11, The Vortex, made by Italian manufacturer Technical Park. You've seen frisbee rides, but this one is leaps and bounds above the rest. Riders start off by boarding gondolas resembling two giant flowers attached to a V-shaped sound. The V rests on a main arm that proceeds to tilt the gondolas at a 30 degree angle before the real fun starts. The V spins on the main arm and repeatedly flips the gondolas parallel to its own rotation. The gondola's arms also rotate slowly, allowing the ride operator to flip guests upside down for some killer hang time. Even crazier, the gondolas themselves spin guests sideways, leading to a practically psychotic ride experience that those with weak stomachs should sit out on. But if you have what it takes, go ahead and give this a ride. Number 10. The Crazy Train, made by American manufacturer Larson International. Imagine one of Larson's super loops crossed with an ABC ride's tourbillon. The result would be this crazy contraption. Unlike other rides on this list, the gondolas on this ride resemble more of a train moving along a track. Passengers slowly traverse the oval-shaped track, which would be cool enough for the hang time, but this ride goes one step further by spinning the track perpendicular to the train's movement. So while the trains vertically loop the track, the track itself repeatedly flips them upside down horizontally. When the whole thing is all over, all you'll be able to say is, what just happened? I don't know what Larson was thinking when they made this, but all I can say is kudos to them for doing something unique. Number 9. The Booster, made by German manufacturer Huss. This is certainly one of the most intense, low-to-the-ground flat rides ever created. Situated on a giant spinning disc, four main rotating arms each carry four sideways spinning gondolas. The gondolas loop 360 degrees and they do so at speeds that will undoubtedly make your head spin. The whole thing makes you feel like you're in the cockpit of an out-of-control airplane. According to Huss, it can seat up to 32 people per circuit and can run both forwards and backwards. And overall, its awesomely chaotic appearance and high-level thrills are sure to make it a bona fide hit at any carnival. Number 8. The Flick Flack, made by German manufacturer Huss. Appropriately named after a gymnastic maneuver, this ride gives passengers the full Simone Biles experience. With a unique swaying mechanism at its center, passengers are bounced up and down intermittently as the seats freely flip both forwards and backwards. The bouncing of its main arms will give you airtime both right side up and upside down, and the near-miss encounters with the steel floor are sure to startle its passengers. With its erratic movements in all directions, there's no doubt you'll be flicking, flacking, flipping, and flopping on this wild and crazy attraction. Number 7. The Shake made by Dutch manufacturer Mondial. It's not every day you see a ride with four rotational axes. Much like a fine pizza, each part of this ride serves a purpose. The giant spinning disc is the crust, the whole foundation of the ride that the other parts are built on. The main arms are the sauce, each one holding four gondolas and resting directly on top of the disc. The gondolas, of course, are the cheese and toppings. Each gondola can rotate sideways on the arms, much like how the salty cheese perfectly complements the savory sauce. And to top it all off, the gondolas flip back and forth, adding an exciting bonus to the finished 
product like your favorite toppings on a cheese pizza. Simply put, the whole thing comes together as a flat out bonkers attraction that you can't miss out on. Just try not to lose your lunch on it. Number 6. The Sound Factory, made by German manufacturer Schwarzkopf. From the same company that made roller coasters like Mindbender and Olympia Looping comes the Sound Factory. While currently out of commission, this attraction was truly a sight to behold when it first premiered. Not only did it have a giant green-lipped Coke can at its center, but the ride itself pretty much spun and flipped in more directions than practically possible. It's like Schwarzkopf took a standard octopus ride and hired a team of mad scientists to refurbish it. The setup is pretty much like an upside-down Mondial shake, but with the added up-and-down movements of the main arms. It does doesn't even look like a ride, it looks more like a training device at NASA. Of course, with its many moving parts, it was susceptible to quite a few technical issues. And it was because of these issues that the sound factory was eventually retired and put into storage. But its legacy of uniqueness still lives on, and one dedicated fan even created a miniature model of it. Now that's pretty cool. Number 5. The Infinity, made by Dutch manufacturer KMG. Introducing the Infinity, the world's tallest portable looping ride. It stands at a staggering 213 feet, making it taller than most roller coasters out there. Guests who are brave enough to ride this monster are launched into the sky on the spinning end of a giant arm and are subjected to plenty of uncontrolled flips at hypercoaster heights. The fact that this ride is portable is astounding, and it's a wonder why we don't see more of these at permanent amusement parks. Considering its relatively low capacity when compared to other flat rides, it could easily be a smash hit upcharge attraction. As an adrenaline junkie myself, I'd be more than happy to pay for a ride on this bad boy. Number 4. The Girolite, made by Spanish manufacturer Tep Royale. This 70 ton beast is perhaps the rarest flat ride credit on this list, only operating in 1997. It was also also known as Misere, which literally means misery in French, and considering how many different ways it can spin, inexperienced riders were bound to be miserable with motion sickness. The gondola flips and spins sideways, all while the ride's main arm swings it around, and as if that wasn't enough, even the main structure itself rotates. That's quite a lot of movement, and the way the gondola rotated with the structure was sure to give quite a few near-miss moments to the passengers. The one-of-a-kind attraction was initially designed by a Spanish manufacturer named Tep Royale that reportedly had no experience making thrill rides, and it was their lack of experience that reportedly led to this ride's downfall. Although it was quite a sight to behold, it unfortunately faced many, many technical issues and would end up being scrapped shortly after it premiered. So if you did get to ride this one, consider yourself very lucky. Number 3. The Rocket, made by Australian manufacturer Funtime. It's time to strap in and blast off with this terrifying attraction. From the manufacturer of the famous Star Flyer comes an attraction straight out of a kid's imagination. Seating up to six people per rocket, this cable suspended ride not only swings riders around the structure, but the floorless seats continuously barrel roll, rotating the guests over and over again. As if tall swing rides weren't terrifying enough for some people, throwing in the upside down factor without a doubt gives this ride an extreme edge. Rides like these are truly meant for the boldest and bravest riders to reach new heights, and if you can get on one of these, you're in for the ride of your life. Number 2. The Flying Man, an in-house made attraction at Francis Flaw de Tolme. If you mixed a Star Flyer and a Sky Coaster in a blender, you'd get this jaw-dropping creation. This ride was specially made for the annual Flaw de Tolme in Paris, France, also known as Fair of the Throne in English. Passengers are strapped into harnesses, hoisted up by the cables, and swung repeatedly around the center of the structure in a face-down position. The harnesses themselves even come with wings to give guests a true flying sensation. With its seemingly thin cables and face-down ride experience, even the most seasoned thrill-seekers may be hesitant to strap themselves in. So if you want to face your fear of heights head-on, book a ticket to Paris for the next Fair of the Throne. Before the number one spot, here are a few honorable mentions. The Fabri Contact, a ride that spins in three different directions. The Technical Park Challenger, a flat ride meant to simulate space shuttle takeoff. The Mondial Inferno, a top scan like attraction with a gondola divided in two halves. Number 1. The Tagata, made by various manufacturers. 
This ride is so crazy that it's actually been banned in some countries. The Tagata consists of a giant bowl with benches lining the inside, and here's the real kicker, there are no seatbelts. You'd think a ride without seatbelts would be tame, but oh no, this ride is far from it. The ride operator is actually supposed to jerk and sway the ride to literally send passengers out of their seats. And let me tell ya, I don't mean the Lori Loud kind of literally. Riders are also encouraged to bounce around and even stand up during the ride experience. Although this looks like a disaster waiting to happen, these are actually quite popular in countries countries that haven't banned them. They can be found at fairs in countries like Costa Rica and El Salvador. Of course, because of the lack of seatbelts and likeliness for rider injuries, you won't be able to find any legally operating in the United States or Australia. And if a ride is literally crazy enough to be banned, it's gotta be number one. Also, I'd like to announce the winner of the last weekly poll. Last time I asked, which obscure coaster interests you most? Well, with 164 votes, the winner is Log Roller Coaster at Yellowstone Bear World. Second Second place went to Dinosaur Canyon at Deadwood, and third went to Veggie Tail Spin at Kentucky Shores Family Fun Center. So thank you for all the votes. And for this week's weekly poll, I actually have two polls. The first one is, which of the rides discussed in this video do you want to ride the most? And the second one is, which of the rides in this video do you want to ride the least? I have all 20 rides listed in this poll, so feel free to head on down to ThemeParkCrazy.com and cast your vote. Thanks for watching everyone, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or you can check out my website at ThemeParkCrazy.com. This is Theme Park Crazy, and I'll see you all next time.